couple things that I want to say first is that you're going to need to have Lutris. It's this one right here. And you're going to want to know where Smappy installs the executable. So where it stores it on mine. It's going to be in your Steam library. So mine. So you're going to go to your folder where started down is installed and where Smappy installs the executable. So you're going to find this one right here. You're going to want to know the path to this so you're going to want to go ahead and copy it so I'm not going to show you how to install Smappy but one thing I am going to tell you is that when you install Smappy on Linux it actually um it won't work the way that they packaged it so I placed mine right here and as you can see, all of them come with this install on macOS, Windows, and it would it said install Linux on this one, but it didn't work, so I had to rename it. So I installed it this way. And then I went ahead and opened it in terminal. Or I right clicked open in terminal and then I just do starts working right away so I'm gonna show you how to do the rest of that because I'm pretty sure you can find other videos out there and I can show you how to install Smappy but I'm gonna show you how to get it working so what I did is I went ahead and I um, copied that path to the file And then go ahead and I have it running natively on Linux, so I add, I select this runner for it, and then right here you're gonna wanna paste that path and then the name of the file. And then that's all you need to do for that. You want to go ahead and disable Lutris Runtime. And then also, you want to make sure that when you run it, it um, loads the Steam Overlay and the uh, achievements. And by running the Steam Overlay, the controller support will work as well. So to find that, it's going to be in home, you can find out Steam. And you're going to look for this one, Ubuntu 12.64, and then Game Overlay Render. So you're going to want to have the path for this. And copy it right here into our LV preload. Press enter, and you're gonna make want to make sure that it runs in terminal with Xterm, and you need to have Xterm installed on your system. And it helps having it installed, so you want to make sure you have that running. And that's basically all you have to do. Go ahead and save it and then you can do... You can go ahead and run it from here or create a desktop shortcut. 
you you want to make sure that Steam is running when you want to have achievements recorded. So. So, trust me, I'm going to end this video here, but trust me, this works. And by doing it this way, you won't have any errors with your mods. All the, all the PNGs will load and the libgdi plus will be found. And um... Oh yeah, also make sure you have Mono installed before doing any of this. So that's like basics for modding on Stardew Valley. You need to have Mono on Linux. There's videos out there for that too. But I just want to show you how I ran it and how I got it working. Okay. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.